So thank you. Thank you to everybody for coming today. I am super glad to see you. You know I love these mornings. And I want to get started right away. So, and I want to start beginning standing today for a bit of a change. So come to the front of your mat. Bring your big toes together, your heels slightly apart. Give your shoulders a couple of rolls. And you can let your hands drop where you want, next to your hips, or maybe bring them together at your heart. Shut your eyes. Take a big breath in and a long, slow exhale. And then bring your attention to your feet. Maybe lift all 10 toes up off the mat, give them a wiggle, and then drop them down, back down onto the mat. Draw energy up your legs from the soles, right up from the soles of your feet, like it's growing up your body, like the energy is growing up your body. Through your legs, engage the front of your thighs, turn the tailbone down, point, bring the hip points up towards the ceiling, engage the core, and then a big breath in as you lift up out of your hips, lengthen up through both sides of the waist. Again, open the heart, roll the shoulders back and down. Tuck the chin into your throat and bring the crown of your head high. Just a couple of breaths here to start the day in this really strong, energetic stance. Take this moment to connect with your intention for the day. Set the tone for your day. On your next inhale, open your eyes and drop your hands down, around, and up overhead. Have your palms meet just above the crown of your head. Exhale here, drop the shoulders down and away from the ears. And as you inhale, bring your right hand to the outside of your right thigh and hinge up and over, arcing to the right, getting a nice stretch in the, le in the left side of your body. Try and keep your weight even in both your feet here. And then let's the next inhale come up to center, touch the palms, and then left hand comes down to the outside of the left thigh, arc up and over. Nice big stretch through the right side body. Inhale to come up, touch the palms. Slide your hands along your forearms now until they're at your elbows. So you're making like a little box over the crown of your head. Now keeping the hip bones facing the front of the mat, let's just twist the shoulders, the chest over to the right. So keep pressing the right hip bone forward as you roll the right shoulder back. Coming to center, let's move to the other side. Twisting to the left now. Inhale, fingertips, or come back to center and bring the fingertips up. Drop the tailbone again. So we're lengthening through the low back and then lift up through the heart, bringing the heart up between your hands towards the ceiling. Keep your chin tucked into your throat here and the low back nice and long. Hands come to heart center. Let's soften the knees and forward fold. Nice easy forward fold here. Don't halfway lift, fingertips come to the shins and we're gonna reach the crown of the head forward. Find length in the spine here. As you exhale, soften the knees, plant the hands and step your feet one at a time back to the back of the mat. Coming to a high plank pose here, if you want to be on your knees, you should do that. Inhale, shoulders forward. And exhale, bend your elbows back towards the back of the mat and lower that whole body down onto the mat. Maintain your plank as you come down. Inhale, open the heart and bring it up towards the, um, shine it forward for cobra pose. Exhale, release. Inhale, table or plank on your toes or on your knees. 
and exhale back downward facing dog let's just take three breaths here and down dog move around whatever way you like pedal your feet swing your hips shake your head for sure getting any tension out of the neck that might be there residual from sleeping and then come up high on your toes bend your knees shoulders come over the wrists and bring your feet forward to the front of your mat halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale soften your knees like a lot and roll up to stand shoulders over the hips then bring the crown of the head high and straighten your knees hands up you can look up between your hands Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Starting to move a little more quickly now as we wake up. Soften the knees, plant the hands. Step your feet back to the back of the mat. Inhale, bring your shoulders forward. And exhale, this time you can lower halfway or all the way down. Your choice. Inhale, to open your heart. Cobra or up dog. Just roll the shoulders back. Next, inhale, release, and make your way to downward facing dog. Feet together at the back of the mat. Inhale to lift the right heel, three legged dog. As you exhale, you can bend the knee and open the hip. Draw, bring that right hip over the left. And really, really nice stretch through the side body. Inhale to extend that right heel long. Try and keep the hips level here. And then as you exhale, draw your right foot forward between your hands, dropping your left knee down onto your mat. Inhale, the fingertips forward and up. As you exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, lift up through the rib cage. Bring your heart up towards the ceiling between your hands. Keep your chin tucked so it's mostly this, this bend is taking place right in the mid region of your spine. Inhale, bring the crown of the head high. As you exhale, hands to heart center, and let's prayer twist to the right. Left elbow to the right knee. Right elbow is high. Lengthen through the spine. And roll the right shoulder back. Big breath in here. Exhale, twist a little deeper. And inhale, unwind from the twist. Exhale, sink the hips. Bring your hands to the base of your spine. Interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders back and press the knuckles away from your body. Back towards your left heel. Big breath in here. Exhale to release. Bring your fingertips up to the ceiling. Hands down. And as you inhale, step back to your high plank pose. Release the breath here. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, halfway or all the way down to the mat. Inhale, open the heart, and then exhale back. Downward facing dog, feet together at the back of the mat, and inhale to lift the left heel, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend the knee and open the hip, stacking the left hip over the right. Stay here for a full cycle of breath and give your ankle a couple of turns. Inhaling, extend the left heel. Exhale, left foot comes forward between your hands, dropping the right knee for a low lunge. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, lift up out of your pelvis. Bring your lengthen up through both sides of your waist as you bring your heart to the ceiling. A little baby back bend here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, fingertips high. Crown of the head high. As you exhale, hands to heart center and we'll twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Left elbow is high. Lengthen through the spine. Big breath in here. 
You can press into your hands, try and lift your heart up towards the level of your thumbs. Next inhale, we'll unwind from that twist. And exhale, bring your hands to your sacrum, interlace them. And as you inhale, open the heart, pressing the knuckles back towards the right heel. And just giving the shoulders a little bit of love. Releasing the fingertips up to the ceiling. Big inhale. As you exhale, draw your fingertips to frame the front foot and step your right foot forward to meet the left. Front of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, soften your knees and rise all the way up to stand. Hands up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And let's forward fold all the way down. Halfway lift. Pulling the navel in, nice long spine. Exhaling, forward fold. Soften your knees here. Graze the mat with your fingertips on the outside of your pinky toes. Lengthen the spine. So we're looking for a nice flat back. And then reach your fingertips back towards the wall behind you. Palms are facing one another. Your feet can be hip width apart here, or your big toes can be touching heels apart. Um, just tick tock them around until they feel comfortable. So turn the tailbone down here. Puff the low back up just a little bit so that you can feel your core engage. Maybe you can even feel it lifting up off the, your thighs. Now sweep the hands forward. Biceps are next to the ears. Palms are facing one another. And your next inhale, just lift your chest up off the thighs. So now you're in chair pose. Exhale, sink the hips. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Hands to heart center. And let's prayer twist to the right. Left elbow to the right knee. Right elbow's high. Extend the spine. Really reach the crown of the head forward. Inhale. Fingertips up. As you exhale, forward fold. Yay. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Bring your palms to the mat and step back for your high plank pose. Be on your toes or on your knees. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way down. Just remember as you come down, maintain your plank. Keep the low back long. Inhale, heart comes forward, cobra or up dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right heel floats. As you exhale, the right foot comes forward between the hands. This time we have an option. You can drop your left knee or stay up on the toes of the right foot. Inhale, the fingertips forward and up. Exhale, sink the hips. Soften the back knee. And bring it down to hover just about an inch above the mat. Turn your tailbone down and lengthen the spine. Try and keep this orientation of your pelvis now as you press the left heel back, bringing that left leg towards straight. Inhaling, find some space between the rib cage and the hips, and then bring the heart up towards the ceiling. Ears frame, or biceps frame the ears here, so don't drop your head back. Inhale, fingertips high. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Right elbow to the left knee, left, left elbow to the right knee, right knee high. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, bring your fingertips down to frame your front foot. And we're going to launch our weight into the right foot. Let your left heel float and the crown of your head drop. So coming to standing splits. You can stay here with your hands sort of in a tripod. Or you can try and cup your ankle with your hands. Gazing right at your big toe helps with balance here. Soften both legs. Bring your knees in together. Make a little ball out of your body. Tuck your chin. And then step your, right, your left foot next to your right. Find a halfway lift. Forward fold. 
Soften your knees to push your feet into the mat, rise to stand. Hands up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, forward fold. Fingertips graze the mat on either side of your pinky toes. Lower your hips almost as far as your heels. Nice flat back here. Pull the low belly in. Reach the hands back towards the wall behind you. Palms face one another. Find strength here. Inhale, the hands come forward. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Chair pose. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Hands to the heart center, and let's prayer twist to the right. Sink the hips a little more than you want to. Press into your palms to lift your heart. And smile, because chair pose makes us strong. Everybody loves that, right? Inhale to come up to center. As you exhale, plant the palms. And this time, if you want, you can step back to plank and then release to low plank or the floor, or you can jump back to low plank. Up to you. Just if you jump back, bend your elbows right away. Inhale, heart comes forward. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale to float the left heel. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Give your ankle a couple of turns. Inhale, extend the left heel. Exhale, left foot comes forward between the hands. Option to drop the right knee. Inhale, fingertips come forward and up. Exhale, sink the hips. Dropping the right knee down towards the floor. So you're just hovering it like an inch, a couple inches off the floor. Turn the tailbone down. Feel that strength in, in the core as you draw, as you turn the tailbone down. Now begin to push the right heel back towards the wall behind you. Roll the shoulders down and away and lift up through the rib cage, through the heart, towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, hands to heart center, prayer twist to the left. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow's high. Find strength here. Don't forget about your back leg. It's straight and strong. Roll the shoulders back, the left shoulder back. You can gaze wherever it feels good. At your right, left big toe is going to give you balance. At the ceiling is going to give you a little more challenge. Let's bring our gaze now to the left big toe. Come up to center. Hands to heart center. Step forward. Oh, I forgot to give us the standing splits here. We'll do it this way. Forward fold. Halfway lift. And then when you are ready, just sweep that right leg, foot back and up. Coming to a standing splits. You can have a, your palms on the mat or fingertips on the mat. You can feel free to use a um, block here too. You can cup your ankles or your left ankle with your hands. Gazing down at the right big toe for some help with your balance. Reach up with the right heel and then bring your right knee together with your left. Bend your knees, make a little, a little ball with yourself. Squish up your face and everything, and then step your right foot next to the left. Halfway lift, forward fold, soften your knees, and this time sweep your arms up and out like, like you're coming up like, yay, full of joy, really, and then wrap your arms around one another, around the front of your chest, the right elbow over the left, then open them up again. And then wrap them around the other way, holding opposite shoulder blades, other arm on top. Inhale, fingertips up. Bring your feet wide to the width of the mat so that your toes are off the mat, heels are on the mat. And let's just sink down into an easy squat. We're going to actually, our aim is actually to make our way to sit down on the mat, but we can take this squat before we before we do that so you can 
From here, you can sit yourself down, reaching your hands forward, tuck the chin, or you can give yourself a little support with your hands on the mat. It's up to you. Once we are here, take a moment to um, uh, breathe, lengthen up through the spine, and we're going to come down all the way down onto our back. So you can stay like this. Use your hands to support yourself. You can reach your hands forward if you like. Just roll the shoulders back. If you want, you can do this from a boat. Bring your shins up to parallel to the ceiling. And then from there, round the spine. Bring your low back down first. And slowly lower your spine down onto the mat. Bring your knees in close to your chest. Give yourself a hug. And then drop your soles of your feet down onto the mat. Cross your left thigh over your right thigh. So you're crossing above the knees. And then bring your knees into your chest again. So you can stay just like this. I have like my left hand on my right knee and my right hand on my left knee. And then you can, so you can stay just like this, or you can slide your hands along the outside of your shin bone and take your ankles and draw them in. Be really gentle with yourself if you do this. Now, if you keep your heels dropped in close to your body, you'll, it'll, it'll be a little less intense. If you draw them out to the side, so it's sort of 90 degrees from your body, you're going to feel a little more in your IT band. Likely of your left side. Just one more breath here. And then let's release that. Bring your right foot down to the mat. Unhook your left leg from your right leg. And let's put the right leg on top. So you're, bend you're crossing your thighs above the knees. Bring your knees into your chest. Left hand takes the right knee, right hand takes the left knee. You can draw them in and you can stay just like this. Or you can draw your hands along the outside of your shins, take the ankles, decide where you want your feet to be. And I'll just take a couple of breaths here. Bringing your left foot back down onto the mat. Unhook your right leg and extend your legs out to the bottom of the mat. Palms face up. Curl your shoulder blades in underneath one another. Savasana. Enjoy Savasana here. Take a couple of breaths. Reconnect with your intention for this day. Notice how in this few minutes we've really um, churned the energy in our bodies up. We've got the energy flowing. The energy is always there. We just need to begin moving it around our body. Just a couple more breaths here. Give your fingers and toes a little wiggle when you're ready to begin moving again. Turn your wrists and your ankles. Just begin to take any movement that feels good for you. Making your way eventually into a full body stretch. Reaching the arms overhead, pushing the heels away. Big breath in, maybe even a yawn here. Just taking in a lot of air. And then draw your knees into your chest. A nice gentle hug this time. And you can start to sway or make some circles on the ceiling with your knees. Just one last release for the low back. 
And when you're ready, roll to your side. Take a couple of breaths here. And when you're ready, take your time about coming up to sit. Keep your eyes shut. Keep your chin tucked into your throat so that you, the way your head is sort of contained. And make your way up to sit. And you can sit in any position that is comfortable for you. So it doesn't have to be a cross-legged position. Or you can sit on a cushion. You can extend your legs or be on your knees. Whatever feels best for you. What's important in yoga is that we begin to connect with ourselves and find the things that make us feel really good. When you're ready, you can open your eyes, bring your, your crown of your head up to the ceiling. Inhale the fingertips up. As you exhale, draw the thumbs to the third eye and hinge forward. That's our final pose for today. Namaste. Thank Namaste. you all for coming to see me today. I really, really love this. And I hope I see you again soon. <laughs>